Hi everyone. It is getting hot in the Southern Hemisphere and we are looking for creative ways to still enjoy our favorite uh, coffee beverages. Yes, even though we are looking today at the spiced chai from Red Espresso, I'm still talking about coffee because we're going to be making a dirty iced chai latte. Not one, in fact we're going to be making two different styles of this delicious uh, iced beverage. Uh, we're going to be doing one straight over ice and then we're going to be blending one up slushy style um, because that's just damn delicious. So let's get to it. Okay, first thing we're doing today is uh, preparing our espressos for the dirty part of the dirty chai latte. So I'm using the barista touch. We are going to prep our espresso shots. Okay, today we're using a very fruity and fresh coffee um, from Toro Coffee Roasters. And um, we found that even on the most fine setting, we still need to give it a bit of a good tap. So, there we have it. The flavor notes we're getting from this espresso is guava and grapefruit. Pretty delicious. I think it's gonna go well with the spiced chai. going to uh, place my espresso shots over there while I prep the chai part of our iced chai lattes. Okay, so the instructions are four heaped teaspoons. We're using our cupping spoon because coffee magazine. And um, I'm using two heaped tablespoons of this with an iced um, beverage because there's a milk and water with the ice. We add a little bit of extra powder just to give it that real chai flavor. So, I'm going to place my first heaped spoons into my carafe. Place it under the hot water spout. We just need a little to get all the good stuff out the chai. got my chai powder in there and making a delicious uh, mixture with the instant chai latte powder and then I have measured out half a cup of milk, cold milk, um, which I'm going to add into the chai mix. So we've got our chai mix here, I'm going to add in my espresso shot, yum, and then I'm going to add this and a cup of ice into the blender. Okay, so after blending that up for about 30 seconds, Ooh, before I even make the other one because <laughs> it looks so delicious. Mm. That is real good. A little chai espresso milkshake for you. Um, all right, next style coming up. Okay, going in for my third heat scoop to make my chai powder mix. Okay, for our second option, following the same process, I'm mixing up the powder before, with some hot water before I add the milk. I measured out my 125 mils. Okay. The aromas in here are delicious. Uh, Red Espresso always likes to keep healthy drinking at the top of their menu. So all of their powders and all of their products are always made with that in mind. Um, for example, the sweetener is um, coconut blossom sugar. Um, and uh, yeah, you can just tell that it's uh, real authentic flavors. Okay, so for my over ice option, I'm just gonna pour 
my latte mixture over ice and finish off with my espresso shot. There you have it. Second style of iced chai latte. See how it changes up. I think I'm gonna like this one better. I'm just guessing because it'll be slightly less diluted. Let's have a try. Mmm. Oh yeah. Well the texture on them is really good as well. The powder really gives it that uh, creamy feel. My suspicions were correct. I do in fact enjoy the over us option better, but everyone will have a different preference. And uh, I hope that uh, you get your hands on some uh, spiced chai from Red Espresso soon so you can experiment with um, a dirty chai latte at home. Bye.